security tutorial and in this video we'll be exploring and understanding URLs and how to manipulate them. So we'll be doing a CyberStar ethical hacking challenge. Specifically we'll go over the headquarters base and then we'll do level 5, a moderate level, and challenge number 3, Shinji's drone. So let's go to the challenge and let's read the briefing. So yesterday we spotted a Yakodi's gang member checking out the Super Spin HQ and it seems they have a flying drone that captured some video and we want to know what the video is. So we know the username is Sinji but we do not know the password. So the goal is to successfully log in and see if we can break in. So looking off right off the bat we can see that the website has a URL so we know we might need to be manipulating the URL. And let's just see what happens when we click enter. And we can see that we have been denied, so we need a valid password. But we also see there has been a change in the URL. So one important thing we have to know um, in cybersecurity and in websites in general is there's various parts to a URL. The first part is the protocol. The HTTPS is the protocol for the URL and HTTPS is more secure. Um, next part is the subdomain. So this one has storage, so that's the subdomain. And Sinji Hasmada is the actual domain. .com, so that part is the top level domain, or TLD. And in this case, we actually have other parameters or arguments that are also being sent to the server. One of them is auth ID, so this is the auth ID that it's being sent. The stamp reference, so this, and usually, at least in this challenge, we don't have much to do with this. But one thing that's important for us is logged in. And it's set to false. So we can check if the server has good protection and by changing it to true. And in this case, if we change it to true and it works, then it means that we have successfully completed the challenge, but also that the server doesn't have any protection for that. So that's it for this cybersecurity challenge. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.